Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. A while ago, I uh, had a comment that said, uh, nice onion wings. <laughs> I was like, no, they said, how about some onion wings? And I thought, well, he did he meant to see onion rings? Because I already did that. And then I was like, onion wings? Is that a thing? So I looked it up. It's a thing. So we're going to make some onion wings. You guys ready? <laughs> Let's go. Chin chin. All right. So I'm going to put a link to the recipe where I got this. Uh, that's the best I could find. It's got a five star rating. So I don't think, I don't know if it's the same that he was talking about, but we're going to do it this way because it kind of looks good anyways. All right. So I've got my wings here. I'm going to leave them all intact because I'm not going to use the paddle. It's just going to knock all that batter or that good seasoning stuff off the wings. So here we go. Make sure the chicken wings are nice and clean. Then place them into a large bowl. Bowl drizzle with olive oil all over the chicken. Then add minced garlic and onion. So it's a pound of chicken wings, two tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of minced garlic, and two teaspoons of dehydrated onion or fresh diced onion. I dehydrated my own onions in my Excalibur dehydrator. So it's kind of coarse a little bit. So this will be perfect for this. So that's one tablespoon. And there's two. Okay. If you feel better measuring it, you go right ahead. All right. So let's get that out of the way. So the minced garlic is uh, two teaspoons of minced garlic and two teaspoons of this onion stuff. Got like, I think it was like, I swear to God, it was like a 10 pound bag of onions at Sam's Club. It's all big onions. And uh, I sliced them up in rings and put them in my dehydrator and oh my God. If you've never had fresh onion powder or granulated onion, oh boy. It smells like onions, not like your store-bought stuff, you know? It smells like onions as soon as you first open it, but then it just loses it. It's oomph. Okay. Next, sprinkle in all the seasonings, then use your hands to massage the seasoning onto the chicken. So, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to flip them like that, but that's up to you. All right. So here we go, one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, two teaspoons of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Whew, that's crazy, but whatever. Two teaspoons of uh, paprika, smoked or plain, and one tablespoon of parsley flakes. Where did I do my parsley flakes? Where'd you go, Parsley Flakes? Oh, they're right there. <laughs> I got them all on here. So silly. I want to show you the paprika that I found. Um, where did I find that? I think I found this at a, uh, like an international store. It was like uh, Hungarian and stuff like that. Russian. So they had this in there. So I, it's beautiful. So anyways, two teaspoons of paprika and one tablespoon of parsley. That's going to give it a nice red color. All right, so let me flip and flip and flip and then change the angle. All right, so I've got the flat pan by DeLonghi. You can use the other one. Just take the paddle out. And we're going to just lay them uh, thick side up, if that makes sense. Skin side up, I should say that. Okay? So let me do that. You don't want to see all that. I'll be right back. All right, so this recipe is an oven recipe. If you don't have an air fryer, it's 375. Uh, uncovered, don't overlap them. Got to be on a flat pan or flat layer uh, for 40 minutes. So we're going to do, of course, wings in the air fryer take about 28, 30 minutes. So we're going to do the bottom on, top on at four. You know, it helps to plug it in after you clean it. And... Uh, I'm not gonna spray any oil. Don't leave things as they are. That skin is gonna, it's got oil already in it, and that skin is gonna create some oil as well. So, all right, so I'll see you when they're done. I said it was about 28 minutes. Let's look at this color, right? Listen to that sizzle. I'm gonna plate it and we'll taste it. Okay, time to taste. They look good. Let's see, let's check it out. I like the flappers, so don't be surprised. <laughs> Oh, 
we're still hot. Oh, look at the juice is coming out of that. Oh, and the knife is so hot. Whoa. I'm saving that drumstick for Tom because he likes that. Okay, here you go. Can you see? The meat just comes off there. Mmm. Mmm. That's quite lovely. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's not exactly packed with flavor, but I'm trying to think of what's sticking out the most, like onion for sure, garlic, salt. It's got a little salt in the back, which is so nice. That's actually pretty darn good. You know, if you want to make yourself a homemade little rub like this, let me taste that. Pretty nice. It's not spicy one bit, even if it's hot paprika. Got a little kick to it, but nothing major. I think everybody likes spicy or not spicy. I think this would please. This would be a crowd pleaser. Bet you did be good on the smoker there, boys. You're done. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.